Hi and welcome to Makeup Muck Muck. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. It's the 4th of July. If you celebrate these things, happy fireworks day. If you don't, happy Sunday to you. Hope your dogs can sleep better than mine tonight. So, let's talk what I did yesterday. Um, I, well, not really. I read a whole book yesterday. That's what I did. I was supposed to be doing other things productive. I did it. I read a book. So, today I have to do productive things. Let's get ready. Uh, I do have a brand new foundation that came yesterday. I ordered, Ipsy had like whatever you know, their pop-up is called, I don't know what it is. And it was, it was a combo. It was this and then a primer. Uh, I don't want to use the primer today, but I do want to use this. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. Their full coverage moisturizer, SPF 50. I got it in fair. And we're going to put her on our face today. I'm excited. I haven't tried this. I have the It Cosmetics CC Cream from like 50 years ago and it's far too dark. You know how it was. Um, and, but I haven't tried this one yet, so we're going to try it today. So let's, let's get ready for the things I need to do today. I, I'm trying to use up some smaller products. This is the Basic Beauty Smooth and Blur Primer. We've talked about it every day that I've been trying to use it up. We're getting close. Oh, y'all, I did my empties yesterday. If you like looking at empty products, uh, go take a look. I used up a good amount of stuff last month. I, uh, I have to, like, help myself use up products. Like, I, I purposefully tell myself, you are trying to use this up. Even though uh, I have tried, like, actual project planning, like, where you have a date and you have a goal and all that. And it was fun. And those videos are on my channel if you want to go check them out. Um, I liked doing that. Uh, it did help me get through some products, but I got to the point at the end where I was like, I don't want to use this anymore, but I was. So I got through a lot of products that way, but I think I found the middle ground of what I truly like to do. And that is if, if I have something that I, I that's like new or that I picked out to use that I, I'm, I use what I want to use. If I don't have an idea of something that I want to use, then I'll use this the thing that I am trying to use up if there's a thing I'm trying to use up. For example, I will, uh, I have that primer that if I bought a new primer, if I got one in a box or whatever that I wanted to try, then I would use a new primer and I wouldn't feel bad about it. There's no feelings, you know, like I'm not, it's, I don't feel bad if I don't use the thing I'm trying to use up or whatever, because it's just a, it's a, if you don't have anything else to use, go ahead and use this one because either it's almost done or you are, you know, you're trying to get it out of your collection. It's really old. The Dior primer that I used up last month, um, it was the oldest primer that I had. And I was doing that silly thing. If you do this, tell me please, where if I have something expensive or nice that I I, it's it's like I can't use it because it's, it's it costs a lot of money. That I'm like saving it. Is, am I the only person that's like this? Like if I have a really nice something, I save it instead of using it. And it's meant to be used, right? Like, oh, I'm crazy. So I'm trying to use the nice things. And so the Dior primer, I use it slam up. I will not repurchase it because it, once I've used it every day, it wasn't that it was such a nice primer that it should be savored. It was it was fine as a primer, but it didn't do anything. I mean, it didn't wash my car. <laughs> it, it was a primer. It was fine. And I have other primers that are fine too. And so I use a lot of products that are very inexpensive. And I have a lot of products that are expensive. And I should just be trying to use those as I, as I want to. I, it, it shouldn't prohibit me from using it if it's expensive. Um, and if I have, you know, something that's similar, I shouldn't necessarily automatically use the less expensive one to save the expensive one. I'm telling you, I've, I'm, I've got neuroses. I'm sure some of us do too. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. That's me primed. And let's see here. Are we ready? Are we ready? 
Okay, so again, this is fair. She's got a pump like normal. And uh, we'll start with two pumps. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll use a, a little kabuki, little, a big old kabuki brush here to start with. And then we'll go from there. So I have to tell you, I dug back out the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I dug it back out yesterday from the giveaway box. And the reason I dug it back out, it looked stunning at the end of the day. Y'all, I figured out why people would like it. That's why. It was gorgeous. It didn't break down. It didn't look weird or funny. It was go it was one of those products that looked better throughout the day. It just doesn't have a whole lot of coverage. And that's okay. Like some people don't like a ton of coverage. So I dug it back out because I think it's worth another shot. I, I wrote it off too soon. That's how I am sometimes. I assume things and I shouldn't. I assumed it wasn't going to wear well because it was it was not great coverage. And I was like, I won't, I won't want this. This looks like it is sitting on my skin. <gasps> it is. Look how crazy I look. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. I haven't had a product do that in a long time. You going to go in? You going to go in my skin? Should I use my fingers? Oh my gosh, it looks insane. Y'all look how crazy my face looks. What did we do? Do you have to use your hands? All right, let's try our hands. What did we do? Oh, this did not look good, y'all. There was one product that was much better with my hands that I don't want using my hands at all for foundation, but if you got to, you got to. There was an old there was an ultra foundation that was like that. Oh man. I don't know, y'all. Y'all look. Did it not like my skincare? I used it cosmetics moisturizer, like the, what is it called? The confidence in a, this was the confidence in like a gel. It wasn't the cream, but. Oh, this does not look good. Oh, look, it's like peeling. See it? Ugh. This is no bueno. Well, I mean, it looks absolutely terrible. It is not sinking into the skin in a lot of places. It is pilling in some places. I don't even know what to do. What do we even do with this? Okay, I'm gonna like have to watch. I mean, no, I mean, I probably half watch, you know, a video with somebody using this, but like, not like. On purpose I watched a review of this because I wanted to know all about it do you know what I mean like sometimes you, you see people use products and you're like okay like but you don't necessarily remember what they said or how they liked it or didn't like it I've got to like go figure out how to use this because this is not the way to use it so again I, I had I had I mean I had skincare on but like I do that every day um, and don't have this problem and I wait between skincare and foundation. Like, I don't, like, immediately put on skincare and then come on here and put on foundation. There's time. And I'm setting up for video and all that. Like, it takes a minute. Okay, I think I've got it where I can actually, like, wear it, wear it. But now it doesn't look like anything. It looks like I've gotten a lot of it off already. And it is, it's, like, tacky. What the hell is this? Okay, we're going to have to, like, watch how to use this because this wasn't it. And I feel like we do have 
some coverage, not a lot. And if for this to be full coverage moisturizer, I'm just gonna put like a little bit here. I don't know why I'm like doing this to myself, but I want to know whether or not hands would have worked better or not. I mean, maybe it's like pressing it in. How strange. I don't like products that you have to like baby to the point. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, unless it's like so fantastic that you, it's the, the payoff outweighs the babying and the special treatment. I don't like that about products. You know, either work or don't work the way that you would normally use a product. Unless again, if it's like crazy good, then yeah, I'll do it that way. But I don't I don't understand this, y'all. I don't I don't understand this. This is mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Welcome to Sunday. We got crazy face. I think it turned out it looks okay. It's just took us a while to get here and I don't want to be doing all that now. Okay. <laughs> so, bye-bye this foundation. I don't understand but we gonna figure it out. I'll watch a couple videos. If y'all use this, let me know down below, please, how you got this to work for you and what I'm doing wrong because I need to know because I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but I'm doing something wrong. Okay, let's do eye primer and then we'll do some concealer. This is the Ulta Nude Eyeshadow Primer. I wonder if I have enough products to do a full face of it cosmetics I wonder if I do I'm trying to think like I know I have like a, a like a blush but some of these products are really old I know I have an eyeshadow palette I have a blush product I've got like a face powder the bye bye pores press which is wonderful by the way I love that powder it's really good to me um, I've probably got a superhero, is that the name of it? The superhero mascara? I've probably got a sample of that somewhere. Um, maybe I'll try to find out. No, maybe not with this foundation. I don't know, maybe with the CC cream. But maybe with this one, if we can find out how to make it work better. I just don't know how to get off saying it's full coverage. It is not. And I don't know how to make it full coverage because I did not make it full coverage with how I finally got it on my face. Um, I've probably got a bye-bye under eyes somewhere, like knocking around, or like a sample of it or something, you know, like that crazy concealer that you have to set like, whoa, because it's crazy. Um, this is the Benefit Erase Paste. It's now called the Boing Concealer, but we're just going to tap that in real quick. <laughs> It's like a, it's pink, so it's color correcting. Y'all, I don't, I don't, I ain't liking this face. We're gonna, <laughs> let me try to see if I can figure out to do a full face of it cosmetics. Let me see if I can do that at some point so that we can watch all their products not fill or whatever. Crazy. Do I have a bronzer? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right, let's. We do have a brow product for sure. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. We'll use her today. Real quick. Pilling in my eyebrow, but that's okay. The spoolie's helping. Ugh, gross. have one eyebrow that behaves and the other one that doesn't. 
Welcome to Parenthood. Got that everywhere. Cool. Let's clean that up. I had to refill my Q-tips this morning. Anybody else hate doing that? I hate doing that. I just wish it was infinite Q-tips. If I had a genie, that would be one of the things I wish for. Infinite Q-tips. I don't know why it bothers me. They're just Q-tips. But it does. Good to know. It is still tacky. That is really annoying. So I was going to use the Natasha Denona Bloom again. The cream stuff. And I'm worried now I'm going to like move this stuff around. But let's, let's try it. So I mixed the two cream products in the Natasha Denona Bloom. Because the, the dark one is too dark for me. I'm going to tap because I'm worried that if I swirl that it's going to move everything and it mm. this is not fun all right we just need to set this mess down use the products I want to use this mess I don't like it I'm going on the record saying I don't like it I've done something wrong or whatever but I do not like it okay let's try to get this mess set down and maybe I'll use let me think maybe I'll use the balance and brighten like the foundation part of the Laura Geller to try to get some more coverage instead of the Sephora micro smooth but first let's set our under eyes with the creme shop um translucent matte so I make the little thing into a tackle and then just tap out any creases that are there and I just press the tackle underneath my eye like that and that's it it's just a real quick way to set using a puff and it sets the erase paste really well like that it's not there's not much product at all on this puff either so I'm not like baking or anything like that I'm just using the, the puff. It's nice. I like it. Happy for that. Okay. Let's try to use. I'm a little bit worried about how to use that. Let's try it. Okay. So I'm going to scrub my powder brush in the balance and brighten part and I'm going to press down first because I don't I don't want to like rub this foundation all around because it's still moving. Oh, this is not good. I don't like it. And then we'll kind of come back in and buff a little bit. Well, Laura helps. She always does. This is a wonderful product. That helped. She always helps. She always helps. Let's actually go ahead and use it for the bronzer. The, this is... The, Typically, you buy just the foundation by itself. But I think this was something that was like maybe QVC or, you know what I mean? Like one of those kind of deals where you got like half and half of things. And like, you know, it was like one of those sets, I guess. Um, and I would, uh, I would probably, if I was doing it again, I wouldn't, oh, sorry. I wouldn't buy the half and half just because my brush is way too big for it. I mean, it works, obviously. 
Um, but it, if I'm going to use it as a foundation, it makes it a little harder. But I can mix the two together and lighten up the bronzer. But that is, it's absolutely beautiful product. It is so pretty. It looks so natural. It reminds me, the, the blend of it, like how quickly it blends and how prettily it blends. It reminds me of the Invisible Bronze by Bare Minerals. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the one, I have those two. They're gorgeous. Um, I'm just using it all over my face at this point because today was not good for the face. Um, but it is, it's just a, it's a super smooth baked product that has some sheen that is not shimmer or glitter or any way, shape or form. It's just beautiful. I just, I look crazy today. This is, this is not cool. Okay. I think we saved it. I think we saved it. Laura Geller for the win. Just in case you were wondering, you need it. Okay, let's use some brush. Oh, I don't know. Let's pick a cheeky threesome. Here's the Bonita Senorita by Kimchi Chic. The stack is just sitting on my um on my vanity because it's just beautiful. Uh let's use a mix of the the, the first two. I'm gonna be blushy today. There we go. These are so pretty. They're so pretty. Get you one. Get you four. I don't care. <laughs> Get you one, though. It's really pretty. Okay. Now, I'm gonna blend a lot here with my little kabuki, little bamboo kabuki brush from it, uh, Shot Mase, just to get everything blended together. As we have put a lot on to try to salvage this. Okay, let's do highlighter. Beauty. And then I'm going to use a finishing powder. I, I pulled this because I haven't used a finishing powder in a hot minute. And this happens to be Laura Geller too. Um, this is the Laura Geller. What's she called? The Filter Finish Setting Powder in Universal. It's like a mosaic of sheeny, pastel, <laughs> super sheeny. Pastel powders. And now I am super duper duper glowy. I don't know if I meant to be that glowy, but here we are. We're doing it. Okay, so let's set with some spray. We'll use the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go. So when I'm using up. Elf soothing mist because she smells good. Gosh, she smells so good. glowy. Ooh, child. <laughs> so glowy. <laughs> okay, I want to use uh I want to use some products that Kim sent. Um, and I'm going to do an eye with just these two because I think they're cool. So this is the About Face. This is the Matte 
Fluid Eye Paint. And this is in the shade Dionysus. It's this color. And then I want to put the Stila Kitten. Um, it is the Shimmer and Glow. So it's not glitter, but it's Shimmer and Glow. I want to use that on the lid. I used this yesterday. Um, after I washed off my makeup, uh, I was going to do a couple more things. And so I... Uh, Anyway, so I was I was excited to try it. So I tried it before I washed my face, like washed my face, and it was gorgeous. Okay, I need something that I'm gonna blend this pink out with, and I think that's what we're gonna do. Now, I'm not gonna use this directly on the eye because I'm a little bit worried that it would be too much. So what I'm gonna do is it's got like a doe foot flat applicator, um, and I, I just put some on my makeup palette because that is very dark. So I want you to use I want to get some like on a synthetic brush and just try it uh, like that. And I'm going to sort of make a, a shape with it like that. And then we're going to try to blend it out. I'm going to take some more product off of the brush because I don't want to keep applying, but I do want to blend. And I'm leaving a space on my lid because I'm just going to I'm going to fill in the space with, with kitten. And I'm... Um, that is beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful color? Oh my, that's a pretty color. I have one more of these that came in my... Maybe Ipsy bag, I think. And it it's like a brown caramel color. This is just beautiful. She's gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Just make a shape, right? Get some of the excess off so that we're not continually adding product. And this is like an angled, see? So now we're just gonna blend. And blend up so that you can see it with my eye open. Cause I put it out, so I want to make sure that I can see the color with my eye open. That's my goal usually with a any kind of transition or crease color is what can I see with my eye open, and, and then I'm just kind of tapping to blend. That blends out beautifully. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Now, do I have the same amount of pigment? I have a little bit more on the other eye. So let's add layer just a little bit more on this eye just because the hue on that eye is more okay. I think that's beautiful. That's really pretty. Okay. Clean that brush a little bit because we're going to use that to blend. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe the excess of that off of my palette so I don't smear it anywhere. And then I'm going to use this directly on the eye. Again, this is a Shimmer and Glow from Stila. This is in the shade Kitten, which I am so stoked to have because I love the shade Kitten in the eyeshadow. I cannot tell you how beautiful it is. It is the perfect lid shade tone for me for any look at all. And I'm just blending out where it, where they meet, just tapping with the same brush. I've just wiped it off so that it's not got a lot of product on it. I'm just blending that out a little bit. It looks like a like a cut crease kind of thing. It's not. It's just two liquid shadows or two. Gosh, that's nice. Thank you, Kim. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous.
It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. I am a glowing princess goddess glowing. That is so pretty. That pink is so pretty. And then they dry and they stay all day. It's beautiful. It's beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Okay, I think I want to do a little bit of liner maybe. Do I want to do liner? I did crazy liner yesterday, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Such crazy liner. Yeah, let's do, um, we'll do the Belief Beauty um, metallic liquid eyeliner in Midnight in Paris. It's this color. It's beautiful. Just a, like a like a dark wine. Okay. There's that. That's a beautiful shade. Really inexpensive at uh, Dollar General. I believe Beauty is a Dollar General exclusive brand. Fabulous, fabulous makeup. Okay. I am too shiny in the center of my face. It is too much for me. Maybe even right here. <laughs> we crazy over here. We crazy. All right, cool. That looks good. That liner helped. Sometimes when you've got a lot going on, just a little bit of liner helps break it up. I don't know. It looks good, though. Man, that's pretty. Those are nice shadows, Kim. That kitten would look good just by itself or with a little bit of bronzer in the crease. That's it. It's all you need. Set. You're done. Okay. Do I have like any new mascara? I don't have any new mascaras. I haven't pulled them in a hot minute. Mm hmm Let's just use Lash Princess today. Probably need to pull a couple of deluxe sizes to try. Because I, I went ahead and cleared out some that were old. I went ahead and put those in my empties bin. It's probably time to pull just a couple more out. Or I might, actually I might need to wait until I get my boxes this month. Because there might be some in there. That's what I'll do. I get a lot of mascaras and liners and boxes for some reason. I think it's just a safe, inexpensive product that they can use to fill the box. Lash Princess is just so good. It is impactful on the first pass. I love it, it's the best, it's cheap, it's chips. I love it so much. Um, I prefer the one with the green writing. You do you, baby. Perfect. 
All right. It looks great. It looks great. I love it so much. Okay. Uh, lips. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Do I have anything new? It's like in the new box or the new drawer. Um, no. That's like a fallish color, isn't it? I don't want to wear like a red. You know what I mean? Like I've got some colors in here that are really pretty, but I don't know that I necessarily want to wear it. This is that Jen Atkin lip from e.l.f. You know, the lady that did the collab with them a couple months ago. This is the, it's the one in, I think, brown. Y'all, this foundation, though. Mm-mm. It's a double-ended thing. There's a lip pencil. And then I guess like a lip color. I don't know. We'll find out. not really creamy like it's it applies but it's not like super creamy I don't really love the color with what I'm wearing but it's okay let's see here we've got a ColourPop ultra glossy lip and Rattler I think that was part of their taupe collection I hate the brushes on this If I top a lipstick or something like that with a gloss, I almost always use my finger to mix the two together. I don't know why I always have. It's an, it's an okay nude. It's like a peachy, brownie, peachy nude. It's okay. I don't love it. Not with the pinky eye, but it's not like pink eye, but you know what I'm talking about. It's okay. I am super, super glowy. Like beyond... Super glowy. I'm going to take a little bit of the Sephora Micro Smooth and get just a bit of it down right here. Oh my, I'm glowy. Like crazy glowy. Mm. Ooh, Lord have mercy. It's okay. I'll twinkle today. It's all right. It's a Sunday. I ain't doing nothing except my stuff. Look at there. Cute. All right. I enjoyed this. This is nice. I can see why, um, you know, you'd have a couple colors of it. If you are, you know, you do stuff outside, you it's hot, sweaty, humidity or whatever. You don't want anything to move. These things are, they'll stay. They will stay all day. They might even be like waterproof or whatever. I don't know. But like that, that would be, that would be a nice combo. Those two go really well together anyway. That's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't, y'all, help me. What do we do with this? Mm, what do we do with this? Help me. Because right now I'm ready to throw it in the trash. I don't even try to give it to nobody. But we'll see. Let me watch a couple videos and see what's going on. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today and getting ready. We, uh, we going to the gods today. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I did. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. That really helps me out. Helps out my channel. And then if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'll hang out and be friends on the internet. Thanks so much, y'all. Have a good day. Happy 4th.